In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to produce a graph that allows you to show group means and also allows you to show variability around those means, in this case standard deviation, using a color band method. And so this allows us to visualize not only the group means, but the, the size of the variance uh, around those group means. So our first step here, as you can see, we have data for four different groups. Um, and the first step is to calculate the mean and standard deviation for each group, which you'll see in the, uh, these two rows here. So the mean for each group and then the standard deviation. The next step is to calculate the standard deviation range. So we're going to have an upper range value and a lower range value. So to get the upper range value, I simply take the group mean and to it add its standard deviation. And then in order to get the lower range, I take the group mean and from it I subtract the standard deviation. So as you can see here in group 1, adding 2.5 to 19 gives me 21.5 for the upper range and then subtracting 2.5 from 19 gets me a lower range of 16.5. Then the next step is to take the difference between the upper range and the lower range. So I take uh, the lower range and subtract it from the upper range and that gives me a full range of 5. And another way to double check yourself is to find the standard deviation value and double it. And that will equate to the full range. Okay, so once I have those values calculated in place, I'm going to go ahead and, and begin to create my, my graph. So my first step is to highlight the values in the lower range and the full range rows. Okay, and I'm going to insert now a stacked area chart. So I want to go to the insert menu, find the area charts, and you'll find them kind of right in the center of the middle row. Click my drop down menu and I'm going to choose the, the middle option, this stacked area chart here, 2D. Okay, now this, you might think, well this looks kind of strange, this isn't really what I'm looking for. Well, bear with me and, and we'll go ahead and, and make this a little cleaner. So what we want to do first is highlight the area on the bottom of the graph, which indicates our lower range, and I'm going to uh, right click on that and I'm going to change the fill, so click on the fill menu to no fill and that will disappear. And so now what we'll see now is just our actual full range of the variance of the standard deviation. Now I want to go ahead and change the color on this so it falls into the background um, because I want this measure variability to kind of be in the background so I can visualize the means but also still visualize the variability. And so I want to kind of de-emphasize that because it's not the most important part of the data presentation, but it is something I still want to be able to see. So I'm going to right click on that, go to the fill, and I'm going to change that to a, to a light gray. So now I can visualize it, but again it's kind of in the background. Now my next step is to add the mean values. So I want to go ahead and, and right click on, on my graph right click on my graph and I'm going to uh, select data and I'm going to add my mean values as a new series. So I'm going to click uh, add series, click on my series values and highlight my group means and I'm going to add that and click OK. And click OK a second time. So now we, we, we kind of have these superimposed on themselves. Um, that's still not what we want it to look like, but just bear with me here. So the next thing we want to do is, is click on the area, the new area representing the means so that it is highlighted. So click on that and you can see up in my chart here it shows those are the values that have been highlighted. I'm going to go now to my, my chart design menu and I'm going to look for a button that says change chart type. Okay, so I want to go ahead and click on that. And now in this little decision area here, uh, I want to find series 3, which represents my group means, and I'm going to change that chart type to a line graph with markers. Okay, and then I'm going to click OK. 
And so now we can see our group means using a line graph are now superimposed over our measure of variability, in this case, uh, the standard deviation. So the next thing I want to do now is kind of clean this up a little bit to make those group means stand out. So I want to click on my line. And I now want to uh, go ahead and, and change some of the, the formatting. So I've highlighted that. Now I want to go ahead and click on my paint can so I can change the, the some of the characteristics of the line. So first thing I want to do is change the color of the line. I want to make that stand out from the gray. So I'm going to change it to black. And then I'm going to go ahead and now change my markers, my little, my little dots here. And so I'm going to uh, change the color of my markers to, again, black to make them stand out. And then I can also change the shape of my fill. I'm sorry, my marker by clicking on marker options and it's going to allow me to change the shape. Now I like the circle but I want to go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. So I'm going to click on the built-in button and I'm going to increase the size of that so it stands out a little bit more. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now my next step is again kind of clean up the chart a little bit. So I don't need this legend here at the bottom, so I'll highlight that and then click my delete button. And now my next step is to add a, a, a title um, that again is going to be very self-explanatory. Um, as much as I can to kind of get the idea of the chart across. So I want to have a title that's going to indicate what my audience is looking at. In this case, this might be mean group means uh, on a particular test or some kind of a measure, maybe body fat percentage. And so you want to explain what each of those data points or what the data points represent as a whole. Um, and then indicate that the dots represent the average score and that the gray indicates a standard deviation. So let me give you an example of what this might look like. So then here's an example of what the chart title could be. So again, I'm, I'm giving my chart title uh, as much impact as I can as far as explaining what's going on within the chart. Uh, and then I color coded uh, my subtitles to indicate what each of the elements in the chart represent. So black indicates average score and gray indicates standard deviation so that uh, my readers can easily see that. So this allows quick, easy interpretation for my audience so they can see what my data is representing and I think gives a clear picture of, of what the data um, could be telling us or, or potentially not telling us. So hopefully you found this demonstration useful and good luck using this technique in your own presentation.